Hey lads and ladies, the Royal Liver here, and fuck me, a lot has happened on the last few weeks on SoRare. Did you know that the English Premier League has now dropped? <clears throat> you didn't? Well, it has, and uh, I, I mean, it's, it, it's fucking expensive. And I had actually planned to start a new series on the channel off the back of this Premier League drop. It was going to be a Cap 270 Road to Glory series. The clue is in the title. I was going to be tracking my profit and losses while competing in the Cap 270 tournaments for each of the big five leagues. I mean, it, it could have been fun, I guess, but uh, I completed my teams. I was just like fucking looking at them and I just, I just sort of thought like, nah, fuck this. I don't want to do this. And so, so I didn't do it. And here we are. So yeah, I scrapped that idea straight away, my ADHD fully kicking in where I buy a team and immediately want to sell it off, like, for fuck's sake, literally a day after buying this Nantz stack right here and I'm listing them all up trying to bin them back off. I mean, like, what the fuck is wrong with me? A fucking Nantz stack? Have I lost a fucking plot? I don't know fucking shit about Nantz or fucking, fucking French football, like, fuck! And I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere, right? But after Castelletto's DMP here, I was just fucking disillusioned before the series had even began. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll stick to the regularly scheduled Road to Glory series for now. I mean, maybe I'll revisit this this idea next season i don't fucking know but uh i mean we don't want too many road to glory series now do we i mean it would end up being so much glory that i'd need like a big fucking hole to fit all of the glory into a uh, a glory hole uh so so to speak <clears throat> great fucking joke to kick the video off right there that was uh that was fantastic. But back to actual sober stuff. This Serie A challenge team went quite well. 31st in the world got me this tier one limited that I ended up selling for about 30 pounds. A nice little bonus on top of the threshold of Ethereum right there. So every little helps, I guess. It was kind of a big fucking shame that Aldero lost his clean sheet in the 89th minute, thanks to a great assist from his teammate. Now I'm like pretty shit when it comes to football knowledge and tactical analysis of the game, but I'm gonna suggest that setting up the opposing team in the 89th minute is, uh, you know, not a good idea. But the excitement continues here with a tier two limited from All-Star a week later, Erasmus Nicholson awarded there, who's worth about 20 pounds. And on the surface, it's like, fuck, a 90, a 97, and a 91 from the Celtic contingent. If only Zagreb could start keeping more clean sheets. It's, uh, it, it could have been nice. It could have been, it could have been party time. And speaking of the Celtic contingent, I got like fucking supremely fucking sick of trying to decide between Maeda and Abada for my extra spot each week. Rotation nation with these two cunts and I'm on the wrong side of the coin every fucking time. Naturally, I went with Abada on this entry here, but you know, uh, Andrzej started Maeda. He obviously scored while Abada was on the bench, so like, you know what, fuck it. To make it easy for myself, I'm just gonna sell both of these fucks and I, I, I don't know, maybe get like fucking Rio Hatate in or some shit. That, that could be nice. It just kind of hurts to look at when your keeper is saving a penalty and it's basically gone to waste because of shit team selection on my part, so... Yeah, yeah, fuck them. And just looking at this page has reminded me all over again about that fucking Nantz stack. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Anyway, it is a month until the MLS season kicks off, so I'm selling off some of these limiteds, and hopefully those funds will be going towards some shiny new super red cards for the capped mode there. But uh, I don't fucking know. I could wake up tomorrow and want to become a Jehovah's Witness for fuck's sake. Put all of my Ethereum into spreading the word of our Lord and Savior, Zian Fleming. And speaking of Zian Fleming, oh my god, I could, uh... I could cry, he's uh, he's back. He's fucking back. Literally my favorite player that I've discovered from Zoware, Zian Fleming is back in the club. My girlfriend and I actually named our dog Zian after the man himself. I mean, well, well except for the fact I don't have a dog um, or, or a girlfriend, so. But I, I think you could have all figured that one out for yourself, uh, couldn't you, so. Anyway, yeah, Fleming is back, and I just fucking said I was gonna save my Ethereum for a super rare cap team, so uh, what the fuck happened? Well, I was setting my rare lineup for the threshold mode, and I just wasn't happy with Vogel Sammer. He got benched last game, and Millwall have now gone out and signed Watmore and Burke to attacking players, so Vogel Sammer's chances may now become more limited, and I just thought, uh, you know, defeats the point of having this rare stack if my forward is gonna be scoring 28 points from the bench or some shit, you know? It just, just makes it hard for myself to compete and hit the thresholds, let alone push higher than that. So uh, yeah, full send, fuck it, better to invest here and really strengthen this core team as much as possible. So Fleming goes straight into the lineup here, heading into the weekend. Well, uh, yeah, well, fuck. I've, I've kind of fucked that up a bit, but uh, yeah, fuck it. Guess this team is going into the second division rare entry this fucking game week. I, uh, I, I did not think that through, but you know, it's fine. I'll just win the second division rare tournament this week and then I can buy like a new threshold stack for the game week after, um, easy fucking life, I, I, I guess. Hello darkness, my old friend. Now by the time this video is out, it will be Saturday in the English King's country, I don't fucking know 
what that means for everyone else time-wise, but uh, basically the game week will have already started, so if any of these players are injured or suspended or some shit, then, uh, well, yeah, that would just be like a big double fuck for me, that would, it, it would not be good, so let's hope that doesn't happen, because I'm keeping the second division theme running right here with this Norwich stack in action, now, uh, I fucking hate this stack, but uh, they've done well lately, so let's see what they can do against a, a Burnley, well, well, fuck me, that's, uh, that, that's a tough fixture. But we're going to give it the good old college try, and here I could select either Ono Hernandez or Oma Bamadeli as the extra player. I'm going to go more defensive orientated here with Oma Bamadeli, and I like saying his name, Oma Bamadeli, it's, that's a fun one to say. So, uh, you know, we're going to go with him over Hernandez, who could be a bit more isolated in this lineup. So, uh, yeah, not expecting much here, but let's run the stack ting. I've then got the usual challenger limited lineup out. Fingers crossed that Livakovic keeps his fingers out, so he can make... Uh, make uh, you know uh do the do the saves keep it keep a clean sheet that would that would be fantastic siri our pro this team is looking tasty skorupski is obviously a bit of a rogue one to fit to the points cap but uh you know hey he's a starting keeper so he can't be all that bad brozovic here is the risky ish option of the group but uh inzaghi has said he should be back and fit now the whole january chance for windows saga is over for him so if he starts then this is looking like a tidy lineup with Diabala captaining up top. Tough game for Inter in the Milan derby this week, but you know, I'll, I'll back them, they're in good form, and hopefully they can get the result and some good scores to boot. A La Liga Pro, now this is one of the Cap 270 stacks I've ended up keeping. Full Villarreal stack here in the form of Torres, Bena, Parejo, and Moreno, having a great season they are, uh, and you know, they're good defensively. Uh, I, I guess there's not much more ready to say about Villarreal. I, I, I guess this was the budget option. They were going for Barcelona or Real Madrid in La Liga. So well, obviously some big teams to compete against here. But, uh, you know, if Villarreal kill it, there's certainly a chance this team could, could win me some, some, some rewards, which would be lovely. And then limited all-star. I mean, what a fucking mess, really. But fuck it, let's send it. Walker saved the penalty last game. And I've got the dynamic Zagreb duo of Ivanusic and Rostovsky in there. So uh, some good scores are certainly possible, uh, maybe, I don't fucking know. And then Cat 220, I mean, look at this lineup, the fuck is going on here? I mean, Leon Hartbag's good so five scores to be fair at the back there for Freiburg, but realistically, this lineup is just all over the fucking place. Hopefully Orsic starts for Southampton at least, and you know, breaks his seal against Brentford, but not expecting much with this one. And uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess we're fucking done with the video. Do all the liking and subscribing. Because I feel like I'm just fucking talking fucking Scrabble pieces here. What? Like, what the fuck am I even saying right now? I, I guess I'll catch you next time. Because I love you. So very much.